Hi guys, Melissa Johnson Hate um, here back with you again today. Welcome back to my channel. And I got an L3 haul. I'm so excited. We went out for a walk, came back, and this was on the porch. And I'm like so excited. So I've had some L3 in the past. That was my very first vendor that I've ever tried. And I had only known Sense Eat Well. Swan Creek before that, um, that's something I could get at the store. Um, trying to think, like just stuff that you would get around at, you know, people selling stuff, but pretty much just Swan Creek and um, Sensi. Well then, I'd heard people talking about vendor wax and I was like, oh, okay. So the first one that I ever tried was L3 and I had a loaf and it was like, I think at, the, at this time it was like a bitty betty. It was a littler loaf and I cut it in half and I cut that into pieces. They were huge pieces, <laughs> huge, like size of bricks. And I did like eight of those. So I, I didn't know how much you're supposed to use or not use. And it was so, I can't even say that it was as strong sometimes as Scentsy because it was new. It hadn't really cured. Um, so I can't say that it was strong per se. It was, it was very fragrant, but the, uh, it was, the air felt so heavy and it made my eyes burn. So I was like, I don't, and I had bought quite a few things and I was like, I don't know that vendor wax is for me. I don't know. I was disillusioned and then someone had commented, oh, you use way too much. And I was like, oh, well, I ended up gifting it, most of it. And I did have a few things that I had saved from L3. Thinking, well, I'll save that and I'll try that later. After, a year it's been two years now but after a year or two it it's beautiful i absolutely love it it works so well and then i ended up finding in all my stuff this scoopable wax and this is the stuff that i told you guys um the cats knocked off one of my warmers it was on the edge though and lucky for that cat it was this l3 scoopable wax is very soft uh the bird. I'm gonna have to cover her. <laughs> um, it's very soft. I may stop this and start over and then just splice it together. We'll see how noxious she gets. But, and thank goodness because, yeah, hold. We'll see if that worked. <laughs> I don't know, she may still make noises, but I used a warm, washcloth and some Scentsy dish soap, just a little. And I rubbed it off of him because it was so soft and it just felt kind of oily on him and greasy oily. And I mean, it went around for maybe a week with like some greasier sections, like around his ear and his neck and stuff, but it's come out, he's licked it out and it hasn't hurt him at all. So thankfully it was this and not a very hard wax. But I have to say, I love this. So I went in and made an order. But this one happens to be Carefree Summer Suntan Lotion and Swimming Pool. And it does, it's a perfumey sunscreen. It's obviously not my beloved banana boat. But it's almost like a perfumey sunscreen and like a light swimming pool. Not really chlorine, but it smells like you're by a swimming pool. And, um, this got, I mean, it wiped right off the wall, but I used pretty good Valspar, I think was the type of paint that I used when I repainted this. So it scrubs off really well, unlike the stuff from Walmart that I originally painted it with. Um, Valspar works way better. It's either Benjamin Moore, I think it was Valspar. But it wipes right off. So it wiped right off the walls, no problem, no staining, which is very light. And <laughs> that's like light gray, so that helped me. Plus it got on my curtains. And I just haven't taken the time, because it blends in so well, I just haven't taken the time to iron it or do anything with it. Because when they're hanging there, you just don't really notice. 
So I just haven't felt like taking it down and doing something with it. And you really truly don't notice unless you rate up on it. So I do recommend Carefree Summer Suntan Lotion and Swimming Pool because it's like fresh air. Like you have your real pretty perfumey sunscreen and you're sitting by the pool, but it's light. It's not obnoxious and this works so well. I had no problem smelling it. So here's my L3 order. <laughs> And the reason why I ordered this is my friend Natalie from Melt With Nat and Jack. Um, she's like, Melissa, <laughs> they have root beer float in the scoopable. And I was like, really? And it's only $8 for the scoopables. And I was like, I am so in love with this and so happy with it. Even though you have to use cotton balls to get to clean it because um, it's so soft and stuff. It's just, it's a pain if you don't use cotton balls while it's warm. Oh, it smells so pretty. Um, that I went in and I had to order. Um, I'm so excited. So, well, I didn't immediately when she said it. I looked and I was like, oh, there's some stuff I really want. And I forgot about it. Then I got an email um, that they had a sample pack you got oh, she's so nice Jenny is Jennifer Jenny is so nice she always gives you a very nice not just one sample but she gives you several sorry she's covered she's just a booger <laughs> um but they had a try me sample bags you got 50 samples for 20 bucks and I was like okay sign me up I'm ready so I went in and I got some scoopables and um, thanks to Nat and Jack, Natalie, I went, I got my root beer float and some other things. And I got a bunch of samples because I actually want to explore her more. Because if you let her stuff sit for a year, it's magical. And don't use too much. Um, like, like this, this, one of these is plenty. You don't need giant chunks of it. Like I used, I, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> So I got a fun little spoon, it's silver, which I'm, or stainless, stainless steel, <laughs> specifically stainless steel. Um, so I'm happy with my fun little spoon and you can buy these extra. Um, I know like Nat and her order got like a blue one and um, Axel was really excited about the blue and I saw that you could buy them separate. So, but I'm, I'm just as happy with this silver one. So I got, my favorite Laffy Taffy in the whole wide world is banana. Um, I love, love, love Laffy Taffy. I have to be careful <laughs> because um, I recently lost a capped root canal. <laughs> and because I, long story with my teeth. Really long, sad story. <laughs> I had a dentist that botched something. Well, my dentist died of a brain tumor. Then I had the worst time trying to find a dentist. Um... And, um, yeah, because nobody took care of me like my, my original dentist. The cats are chasing each other, so just ignore them. They're having fun. But, um, yeah, so <laughs> they'll, they'll be entertaining. So, yeah, then I found a dentist, and he botched them. Like, they got infected to the bone. Some of them couldn't be fixed, um... And so I was, I'm missing two of the very, very back ones. And so I was using the one that was root canal and capped as a molar. And I guess it, it shouldn't withstand pressure like that. It wasn't meant to. So it broke and it's unrepairable. <laughs> so it's holding the space until maybe in a few years when I pay off my one loan, 401k loan, maybe I can afford to go get implants <laughs> to correct that. Cause I don't, I'm, I'm too young for dentures. I'm <laughs> not about that life, you know? So, um, yeah, thanks to my, and then like there's a statute of limitations and I couldn't like be like, excuse me, I spent all that money with you. You botched it, almost got sepsis. <laughs> and then I still had to pay to get it all redone. <laughs> and just, you know. Anyways, on to my order, because that was a terrible story that nobody cares about. All right, so let's just go over the samples real quick. Um, I'm so excited. 
Now that I know how to use L3, and I, when I gifted some, there was one, it was like Pink Sands, which that's my favorite, my favorite Yankee candle um, is Pink Sands. It's so beautiful. So I had a mix with Pink Sands and I forget what else, Pink Sugar maybe, and Liliana's Lullaby. It was like the Johnson & Johnson, um, almost kind of like a lavender Esque, you know, relaxing scent. And I shaved some off of it before I gifted it because I was like, I just want to melt it once and see what it was like. It was gorgeous, but it's been two years and it was beautiful. And I'm like, uh, now that I know what I'm doing and it's not the vendor's fault, it's mine that I had no idea what I was doing. Now I want to go back and explore because I'm so excited with the stuff that I do have. <laughs> and plus Jenny, her stuff is not as expensive as some places. And it works really well now that I know how to use it. <laughs> and she's so generous, so generous with her samples. Like that's one thing I absolutely love about her um, and what makes her one of my favorites. So, oh, you guys, she gave me good ones too. <gasps> this is one I've been wanting to try. Um, what Dreams May Come, that's one of my favorite movies with Robin Williams. It's a really good movie if you've never seen it. But I know this had like lavender and look, it's a little piggy. Oh my gosh, how adorable. Now see, now that I know what I'm doing, I would probably cut this in thirds. But this is about the whole size of chunks that I put in, maybe even bigger. This is beautiful. It's purple too, <laughs> purple piggy. Look how cute he is. It, I smell like lavender but it's sweet. Um, I don't remember what else is in this mix, but it's sweet and it's beautiful and relaxing. And oh, I love that. So I would totally invest in some of that What dreams may come. So now I know I love that. Um, is it Leah, Leia? Leia's donut shop is what I'm gonna say. Look how cute. Oh, wow. It's like coffee and like, I would almost guess cinnamon sugar donuts. Oh, you guys, that's wonderful. Leia's Donut Shop, highly recommend. <laughs> um, plus I had some when you guys were doing your random acts of kindness. Um, like I know Virginia gave me and Natalie gave me, um, some L3. Um, so I'm super excited to explore L3 while these kind of cure a little bit. Um, <laughs> so the, the last one, and these are cute, these little dog bones, um, Bum Bum, which I'm not familiar with the Solo de Janeiro Bum Bum cream, um, Boom Boom cream, whatever. Bum Bum, Salty Sea Air. Boardwalk Mellow Clouds and Warm Vanilla Sugar. One of my favorite scents. My favorite scent. Well, <sighs> Tide. <laughs> my two favorite scents of all time from Bath & Body Works is Warm Vanilla Sugar, but I'm allergic to the their formula. Um, same with, as you know, <laughs> I found out the hard way. Victoria's Secret and Bath & Body Works are sister companies per Victoria's Secret um, when they refund, when they gave me a gift card. <laughs> um because I'm allergic to the way they reformulated their stuff and I literally get hives, <laughs> actual hives. Um, and I was sad because I love, love, loved warm vanilla sugar and obviously love spell from Victoria's Secret. Um, and yeah, so, and my other favorite one is, is uh, Marshmallow Fireside. Now that I bought the candle, I haven't warmed the candle, but just to smell the candle is amazing. Oh. Oh, you guys, that's phenomenal. I need a loaf. Another thing that I love about Jenny is whenever I go on her site, there's something available. I don't have to wait for a pre-order. I don't have to wait months and months. Um, I know she does pre-orders and I know that she does like ready to ship, but there's usually always something available. I need to get a loaf of this. Bum Bum, Salty Sea Air, Boardwalk Mellow Clouds, and vin Warm Vanilla Sugar. That might be my new favorite thing. 
Wow. That's right up there with uh, marshmallow fireside, warm vanilla sugar, which is in this. Oh, I'm obsessed, obsessed, you guys. That's the most amazing thing ever. Thank you, Jenny, seriously. <laughs> I love all three of those samples. I can't even wait. I can't even wait to see what all is in here with the samples. So, my very first um, scoopable. Oh, she's redone. Maybe these are summer. Maybe she's just, I don't know. Well, anyways. <laughs> Um, this is coffee bean cupcakes at Tiffany's in Palo Santo. Had to try it. And Natalie always, this is Natalie's favorite vendor. Um, and I know Natalie loves, um, her Apollo. Oh, that's good. Wow. So you obviously get the coffee bean and you get like, Cupcakes at Tiffany's. What's that supposed to smell like? Because it smells like buttercream. And you get the hint of the Apollo. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. I can't wait till this cures. And I think Charity was saying that L3, what is it, like three years later, these are still strong. They haven't lost any scent for these scoopables. And that's why I was like, and I like how these store. <laughs> um, you can just throw them all in a drawer and they store real nice. Wow, you guys. <laughs> if you're willing to wait like a year and let these sit till next summer, amazing, amazing. Now, I know it's easier for some people <laughs> because they go crazy and they buy lots of it and then you can't use it all. And so it ends up sitting <laughs> inadvertently because you can't possibly melt it all. Um, my vendor wax stash is not that big. And I mean, it's getting bigger now <laughs> because I'm, I'm like, wait a minute, I need to explore. And I did, it'll be two months still till I see my teddy bees. Um, first real experience with them, except the two loaves that, well, yeah, the two loaves that I got. Um, so I'm willing to let those sit. I got a couple from Hayden Row, and then a couple that were gifted from L3. Um, you'll see in my live chop and chat later. Oh, you guys, that's magical. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. This will be like the world's longest video if I keep doing that. Um, so I had to get this because Charity loves L3's cotton candy. So I got cotton candy frosting, cotton candy toasted mallow. Look at that beautiful, like, almost like salmon pink color. Oh, Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. You guys, these are only $8. These are only $8. I literally need to go buy more of this. This is magical. <laughs> wow. Oh my word. If you love cotton candy, she wasn't joking. <laughs> she was not joking. And I don't even know if this is the exact I think She said cotton candy. I might have it in here. Oh, you guys, that's absolutely magical, magical. Wow. Okay. I'm so excited. And, um, this is the one that Natalie was talking about and I'm so excited. Um, this is root beer float. This, you know, if you know, if you've watched me enough, you know that this is one of the my, one of the bars I lost from Sensi that I think is so sad. It's beautiful, Natalie. It's beautiful, and I love it. Oh my gosh! You do. You get the root beer candy and like 
the vanilla ice cream. Like I literally think I smell vanilla ice cream. These aren't super strong yet. Like this one's pretty fragrant. Um, but it sat, this is, this is like the, the second year. I can only imagine these a year from now. Like these are phenomenal, oh, but they're soft right now. That's, if you love root beer float, <laughs> that's phenomenal. I am in love. <laughs> I'm in love. Wow. And then this one, I know Natalie loves her beach nights. So this is beach nights, cotton candy, which I know um, Charity loves, and zucchini bread. So I'm not real familiar with zucchini bread. Look at the colors, fun. It's beachy. Wow. Oh my God. Well, beach nights, I'm finding out. Natalie, I'm with you. Holy good. <laughs> Salty sea air in beach nights, I seem to be really loving. Beach nights is salty sea air and boardwalk mellow clouds, right? Oh my gosh. There's something ever so salty. I think it's the zucchini bread that smells vaguely like pretzel. I don't get cornbread, like some people say. It's almost like a, it's like a salty popcorn. But it's so soft in here, it's hard to tell. And then the cotton candy is <laughs> like sweet. Hmm. Zucchini bread's fascinating. I did get, I dropped the one from because I knew I got one with um, Sassy Girl. I knew this one had zucchini bread, so I dropped the Witches Be Crazy, which I'm probably lost my mind with. Um, oh, who is it? Teddy Bees. Because I had to drop one, <laughs> so I had enough money. You guys, this is really good. Hi. Hi. Oh, I love this. Okay, so I'm obsessed with all of these so far. But I hardcore really need this, this, this one. And the last one is Freak Show. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Um, I kind of love the name of it. Um, I've not seen it. My daughter has. But she said if I watch any of them, um, the American Horror Story, she said watch Freak Show first. <laughs> um because it kind of gave her, like, um, obviously in a more horror way. Um, oh, um, has Zac Efron, the, the greatest showman, <laughs> like the freak show kind of, anyways, doesn't matter. Um, but this has circus concessions, which I know is Charity's favorite thing ever. Cotton Candy Craze, which, which I know Charity Love Love loves, L3's Cotton Candy. Um, and I know Natalie talks about it all the time. And Blue f Cotton Candy, which the Cotton Candy Craze is Cotton Candy, Cotton Candy Frosting, Blue Raspberry Frosting, Circus Concessions. I don't remember. Charity could tell you. Um, oh, that's interesting. I didn't smell anything like I thought it was going to. Um, it's sweet yet salty. I almost swear I smell maple syrup. I definitely think I need for this to cure to come alive because it's so soft. I can't quite pick out what's going on. It almost comes off like maple syrup with like the salty sweet. It almost smells like pancakes and maple syrup to me. Weird. I don't even know that I get the cotton candies. I just get something sweet and maple syrupy and bready like, <laughs> like, like pancakes and maple syrup. Is that what this is supposed to smell like? 
Or does mine just need to cure? Charity. Is it supposed to smell like um, pancakes and maple syrup? <laughs> um, it doesn't smell anything like that. I was gonna, I'm not mad at it. I like it just fine, but um, that totally threw me off. <laughs> um, maybe it's supposed to smell like Okay, so here are my 50 samples for $20. Oh, this is super exciting. Um, I love how affordable their stuff is, and it does really well in my house. Um, so, try me. <laughs> I'm super obsessed with this one, you guys. That's literally the most beautiful thing I've ever smelled. Okay, so that's my box. That's all that was in it. I love that she gives you a piece of candy, too. That's super sweet. Um... So I thought, okay, this gives me an opportunity to try a bunch of stuff, even though she's super generous with her samples. Like anyone else, you get one little sample. She gave you three. She's amazing. Um, I've always loved that about her. I've only ever ordered one other time. Well, that's not true. Um, L3 is also the one I got the Harry Potter candles from, and I won $50 in one of those candles. And I love those candles. She might even still have them. Um, I shouldn't say wand. It was in my, you know, you had to melt the, it was like Gringotts from Harry Potter vault candles. Um, it was so much fun. All the rest of them, I only got a dollar, but when I got the $50 and it was in the Snape one, not that you would always get $50 in Snape, but I was so excited because to me, that was my Harry Potter character that reminded me of Ursula with Snape. So I felt like Ursula gave it to me. Um, so that was super exciting and those candles were great. This smells amazing. Oh my gosh, this is super exciting to try 50 different little samples. What a great way to experience. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's so nice. She even put a banana taffy in there. Jenny, I love you. <laughs> okay. You are so generous. Like, I adore you <laughs> so much. Her generosity is over the top, and I love her. Oh my gosh, you guys. I wish you could see it all. Like, literally, I have samples. All kinds of samples. Oh, uh, okay. And these are generous samples. Um, I expected, like, maybe one of these. <laughs> These are generous. Okay, so the first one, and some of these movie references I may not understand, so forgive me. Comment, because I do want to know. So if this if this is referencing something and I have no idea, let me know. Um, Where the Wild Things Are, I've heard that. I don't, I think it's a movie or maybe it's a book. I don't know. Um, waffle Comb Cotton Candy Frosting. That sounds incredible. I love Waffle Cone. I love Cotton Candy Frosting. Wow. Oh my goodness, you guys. The, the waffle cone is real light and the cotton candy frosting is delightful. Oh my gosh, that's good. Where the wild things are. I wanna say that's a little kid's book with a monster on the cover, but I'm not sure. Please tell me, because I don't know. It's probably a scary movie, and I don't know. Um, oh, this is cute. Blow top, blow pops, you guys. You know I love bubble gum. It's like one of my favorite things with... <laughs> I'm such a child. That's so good. And look, it's a fish. How cute is that? Huh. Dale, you can sit or <laughs> it's going to be a while. It's up to you. Do you want to smell these with me? You don't have to. Holy moly. <laughs> no, I probably won't smell all of them, but I want to say hello. Hi. <laughs> Blow pop. Oh, that's really good. Mm, this is L3. Yeah. Wait, you have to smell my favorite one, <laughs> which I think you might like that one. But this is the bum bum. I need a big giant loaf of it. 
It's Bum Bum, Salty Sea Air, Boardwalk Vanilla Clouds, Warm Vanilla Sugar. Oh, wow. Is that not the prettiest thing you've ever smelled? Mm. What's this one? Oh, that's a good one. This is a Robin Williams movie. <laughs> yes, it is. It's, it's, who wrote that? Who came to my film? It's one of my favorite Robin Williams movies. That's good. Mm, this is a really nice donut shop. Huh? These ones <laughs> you've already done over here? Those. I didn't get a chance to smell this one. No, stop. I can move over. No, no, the no. I just want, I'm going to pick out three to smell and then... Oh, you might change your mind. Oh. These are light, though, but... Um... Well, here's coffee bean cupcakes at Tiffany's and Palo Santo. They're real light, though. Kind of oh, I like smell. that though. That's really nice. Um, you don't have to show them all over again if you guys Group have already flow. smelled them. <laughs> it's it's definitely root beer float. Yeah, you don't have to go through all of them again because they and you have already smelled them. <laughs> well, they saw them and you smelled them. Cafe C spiced oat milk. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Fun. That's really. What is that one? Cafe C spiced oat milk. Uh, it does sound, uh, smell like a spiced oat milk. Oh, I really like that. I'll pick out the next two. It's like a cinnamon spiced milky. I don't know what Cafe C is supposed to be, but it kind of reminds me of. Like cinnamon toast crunch cereal, <laughs> a little bit. Oh. Okay, so these three. Okay. So zucchini bread, strawberry jam, cupcakes at Tiffany's. Oh my gosh. Her strawberry is really good. It's like strawberry swirl from Scentsy. Mm. Oh, yeah, I picked out a good one. Mm. That's my favorite strawberry oh, so a far. Bread. That is really nice. I smell the strawberry. It's got a great strawberry smell to it. This one's Beach Nights Cotton Candy from Zucchini Bread. Mm. That's really nice. It's mm -hmm. a little pinky. I know, isn't it cute? <laughs> um, amaretto roasted coffee sugar cookie royale, and I love that leaf shape. Holy cow! Hundred percent amaretto cookie. The coffee's light. If it's it's hard to smell the coffee, but that the amaretto is to die for. <laughs> Oh, I could see me going crazy with this L3. This is really good. It's a leaf. <laughs> what was this shape? Oh, it's like a little van. Like a Scooby-Doo van. <laughs> Scooby-Doo van. <laughs> this one's a leaf. That's a beautiful leaf. That's good. I loved it. The amaretto. Yeah, that's really good. Maybe it's amaretto co roasted coffee. I picked up a couple of good ones now. And I think this is going to be the best. That kind of smells like Maine. We only have 300 more to go. Stop. That smells like mean. Yeah. And this is deep dish apple pie. <laughs> My camera. We say it smells like mean. That doesn't mean it smells like like the dirt and stuff. It means <sighs> the shops and things that we love to go on down, in down east Maine. It's kind of like baked apple pie from Sensi, and it's lovely. <laughs> I love that. Mm. That's really good. That's <laughs> yeah. really good. I love it. I can see me buying a lot of that one too. Mm. Mm. Um, key lime okay. coconut graham cracker. I'll smell one more then. You know how to smell. No, I know I want to smell this one. <laughs> how do you mind? You announced it. Ooh. Beautiful. You get okay. Tell me what you smell when you smell that. It's 
not what I was expecting. I love it. Mm. I do smell that it's, it's a little more faint than I thought it would be, the lime. I think it smells like watermelon mint. Smell mint. <laughs> it smells like watermelon mint. Hmm. But like a real soft mint it's a really, and then watermelon It's sweetness. very pleasant. I, I love I it. I expected that the lime would be stronger like in a key lime pie, but... Now, granted, these might need to mm. cure a little bit, yeah. but I'm in love with It's them. really good. There's yeah. not one I don't like. So I like, is that her? I don't know. A picture on it? I don't know. I didn't get a on. card. Hmm. Isn't that funny? I didn't get a... Not that it matters, but... I'm going to guess that that's like that. I mean, they're from Junction City, Oregon. Mm -hmm. um. Very, very unique. So <laughs> I'll let you go the rest of the way through it. But nice seeing y'all. I have to get ready to do a funeral service, so I'm going to work on that now. So I bet that encouraged everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the next one sounds super exciting to me. Blue cotton candy and bubble gum. Yummy. That's out of this world. <laughs> Do you want to smell it? Okay. Oh, he should stay. <laughs> no, I really have to do this. That smells just this. like, that's what I expected blow, top, blow pop to smell like. That, yeah, that's... Good. Oh, this smells like a blow pop. Oh, what is it the does. difference now? Lemon tree. Lemon tree. Very pretty. I didn't say lemon tree. Oh, I thought you said lemon tree. I'm intrigued. Oh, I'm intrigued. Very. What does this smell like then? It's sweet. I'm terrible at this point. I know. I, I can't peg that one. Uh, it's very, very nice. It's very nice. Kind of like a sweet candy of some sort. I don't know. I'm loving them. Look at the fish. Is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, yee. Okay, so the next one is Twitter painted. I have no idea what to tell you that is. Um, oh, that's different. I'm sure I love this one. Kind of smells like cat pee. <laughs> and it kind of smells like an old person's house with cat pee. <laughs> okay, that's the only one I'm not like super excited about, but it's not bad. Well, I mean, I made it sound really bad, but um, it also gives me those vibes, plus it's sweet. I don't know about that one. Um, here's Jenny. Pumpkin, pecan, waffles, pretzel, and kettle corn. Here's Jenny. All I know is Jenny from, like, Forrest Gump. Ooh, ooh. That's like an Aunt Annie's pretzel. <laughs> I mean, I can make things up and tell you I smell this, that, and the other thing, but it smells like an Aunt Annie's pretzel to me. It does. It smells like you made homemade pretzels. And you have some... Sweet, maybe, maybe, or maybe cinnamon sugar. Yeah, that's good. I can't just say I smell pumpkin because I don't necessarily, but. Does this say pretzel? Oh, pretzel and kettle corn. Well, I get like a home, and pumpkin pecan waffles. I get like a homemade Aunt Annie's pretzel, like cinnamon sugar. Um. Ooh, I love like the Harry Potter references. And um, this is Mischief Managed. 
That's Harry Potter. <laughs> I love that. Oh, and it's kind of woodsy. Yet sweet. I always think I smell some star anise. Maybe some cedar. Something sweet, like sugar. Oh, I like that one a lot. Mischief managed. Yeah, I would buy a bit of that. Adipose. I don't know what that means, but I really love these fish shapes. Um, adipose. Oh. Like, look how adorable that is. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I love fish, though. Oh, that's sweet and sugary. I would describe that um, as like a pink sugar frosting. Like kind of like pink sugar perfume in frosting form. Mm, I love that one. <laughs> Adipose, huge fan. Um, this is cute. <laughs> uh, Moonflower, a little bunny shape. Ooh. Oh, that's phenomenal. Look at that little bunny shape. It's like a peep. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like crushed, crushed soap. I don't know how to describe that except to say it smells a lot like crushed soap. Mmm. That's really good. <laughs> I don't know what's in these. Okay, reminds me of Crest Soap, Moonflower. That's a great bathroom one that I would cut in half. Um, another Harry Potter, Nimbus 2000. I love this. <laughs> oh, I love this, okay. It's another cute little bunny. What is this? Wait. Hold on, it's triggering something in my head. It kind of smells like a perfume. And the more I smell it, it kind of smells like a, like a mature perfume. Like, White diamonds. I don't love that perfume, but I actually, it's like it's mixed with something creamy that makes me not dislike it. <laughs> I don't know if it's like got a vanilla or something that creams that white diamonds perfume. Elizabeth. Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> white diamonds, maybe. I don't know. But this, like, Sugary vanilla makes it smell less mature perfume. I don't even know if that made any sense, but that's what I get from Nimbus 2000. And I actually don't mind that. Um, I actually, I guess because they toned it down and made it sweeter, um, I kind of like it. Um, strawberry lemonade game. Oh, I'm excited. I love fresh if they're not greens. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, it does smell like, um, like a fabric softener. Um, it's not like an overly heady floral laundry. It's like fabric softener. So it's sweet and creamy. Oh, and that strawberry lemonade feels so summery and so bright. It's not like an intense strawberry or an intense lemon, but you get the hint of like the sugar crystals from a, maybe a mix, from a strawberry lemonade mix, sugar crystals. And gain laundry, but like fabric softener. Oh, I love that. And I would buy a brick of that. <laughs> I love that a lot. Um, who would have thought to put those together? This is super cute. It's three samples. 
in here. Um, oh, and this sounds like it's going to be amazing. Vanilla lace, Egyptian cotton, and rose jam. Rose jam, she's covered. <laughs> Always reminds me of Robin. Um, she talks about the lush scent rose jam. I don't know it. Oh, I actually like this. So you get the hint of the rose, rose jam. I, I'm still really not familiar with what it is. Dale's. <laughs> and yet the vanilla lace I know is like a Victoria's Secret perfume, Egyptian cotton. Um, I mostly get the vanilla lace, a real soft rose scent, which I assume is the rose jam. But the vanilla lace is more of the upfront fragrance that I love. <laughs> and the Egyptian cotton is soft, like a soft, like sheets on the line. Um, there's a slight powder. I, that might be the vanilla lace. Like a real soft baby powder smell. I actually really love that. That's a great combination. Um, who knew? Look at these cute little sizes. Those are perfect. So I would get three samples out of this. Like how generous is that? That's amazing. You would think that 50 of these for 20 bucks, you'd only get one of these. Like she's super generous. Like I love that about her. <laughs> um, and she has great, I have to say, these are pretty phenomenal. Only one of them reminded me of cat pee. Oh, and it smells a little more like peach rings. Mm, okay, it smells a little more, now that I've smelled other things and come back to it, it smells a little more like peach rings. Mm, now that I smell it again, I get the tinge of cat pee. This one's got a cat pee vibe, but keep in mind, peach can do that for me. Sometimes fruit punch. <laughs> so that's not, it might just be my nose. Um, this one, look at that shape. I mean, that's not the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Raspberry. I love raspberry. Seriously. <laughs> I love this. I absolutely love this. Oh, that's good. It's, it doesn't smell as much like a raspberry lollipop like sometimes Scentsy can. This is, um, it even kind of gives me some of the rose jam vibes. Like a slight rose to the raspberry in like the prettiest way possible. <laughs> oh, I really, really like that. Um, I would have to say like a raspberry sherbet is what that comes off like to me. And I like that a lot. Um, strawberry rhubarb and sugar cookie royale. I will say <laughs> just from this, she's making me more of a fruit fan. Scentsy, not so much. It's very artificial, a lot of the fruits, and I think that's why I don't love them. Her stuff is, is really well done that I could become more of a fruit person. Um, the heart is adorable. But strawberry rhubarb sugar cookie royale. Her strawberry is my favorite strawberry oil. It smells just like strawberry swirl from Scentsy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this reminds me so much of strawberry swirl. Like, it's like a strawberry smoothie milkshake that you made with frozen strawberries and vanilla ice cream is what that reminds me of. Yeah, um, frozen strawberries. And maybe like a vanilla buttercream. But it's not as sicklingly sweet as buttercream. It's definitely like, like a vanilla milkshake. Literally, if you love Scentsy Strawberry Swirl, you'll love Strawberry Rhubarb Sugar Cookie Royale. I just don't even know what to say. It's really good. 
Um, and I'd have never bought that thinking, oh, I'm not really a stripper. She makes me a believer. <laughs> um, I didn't think that was possible. Um, pink frosted cake, watermelon cake, cherry chip cake. What? This sounds amazing. Oh, if she ever does another sample, I'm so in. I need to go look. I think she had some recent. I don't have any money. Next time. <laughs> is good you get cake <laughs> oh my gosh that's good why is she not more popular <laughs> she needs really seriously Natalie I'm team L3 <laughs> I'm kind of with you here and you saw Dale he was pretty happy too <laughs> like I think we're team L3 with you Natalie I just bumped her up to one of my favorites. Wow. Okay. You know how you make, um, there's a cake mix and it's cherry. That's what this reminds me of. And it's like if you put little tiny mini chocolate chips in it. If I think about the watermelon cake, I, I can maybe get a hint of watermelon. But I 100% get the cherry cake mix with maybe little tiny chocolate chips. Definitely the cherry cake mix. Like it's pink. <laughs> but it's good, you guys. I like it. <laughs> um, so this is exciting. So I know Tom Ford, Black che or Lost Cherry. Everybody loves that. Now, since he had their version that everybody compared it to, um, I'm not familiar with the perfume, just from hearing you guys. Um, what was it? It was Sanderson Sisters. Can't remember the name of it, but it was from the um, Sanderson Sisters. Perfectly Wicked, maybe? <laughs> Cannot remember the name of it, but it was that Lost Cherry scent. This is Lost Cherry Black Amber and Sandalwood. I actually kind of like this one more. It does give me that same scentsy bar vibe. But the sandalwood is pretty. I guess it's sandalwood that's coming off like baby doll faces to me. Or maybe it's the amber. Maybe it's amber. Yeah, because I have amber roll-on perfume. It's the amber. So it does have that slight baby doll face. It's definitely like a perfume. Mm, I didn't love the Scentsy Bar. I like this one better than I like the Scentsy Bar. The amber makes it a little more perfumey, but the amber also might bother me. It's weird, because like if it's a light amber, I know I can do it. It's that black amber, I guess, the dark amber. Whatever smells like baby doll faces <laughs> isn't my favorite in the clone type, but um, yeah, so it's worth trying if you like um, that one from Scentsy. It's perfectly wicked, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Happy Island Papaya. Okay, Jimmy, make me believe her because I think I don't like papaya, so... Make me a believer that I like papaya. Because <laughs> I don't like Kimu, Kimu, skinny dipping to give me papaya vibes from Sensi. I like this one. <laughs> this actually has a suntan lotion vibe. A very sweet. It's like the thing that I like about Desert Tropics. Except it's also got a hint of suntan lotion. You guys, I'd have never, never picked this up going, Highland, Happy Island Papaya. No, I love this. It's perfumey. Like, it's a real sweet, soft perfume. Like, 
I described this in one of the other Scentsy ones. It's kind of like, um, like a sports, uh, like, um, sports illustrated swimsuit model. And she has like a soft, pretty, perf like fruity, slightly floral perfume. She's wearing sunscreen <laughs> at the beach during a, what a Sports Illustrated swimsuit. That's amazing. I actually really like that. Wow, I don't even know who I am anymore. That's good, that's really good. Almost even. Ever so slightly laundry, it, like gain almost, but that's, that's phenomenal. I would buy one of these and this. I'm just saying it's that good. It's got suntan lotion. Like a real soft, fruity floral perfume. <laughs> I'm blown away that I like that. Uh, what sheep is this? What is that? <laughs> oh, it's a... I don't know what that is. Oh, maybe it's a seashell. Hold on. But anyways. Um, pink frosted animal cookies, buttermilk pie, vanilla ice cream, and waffle cone. That's totally something I would buy. What is this? I think it's a, a seashell. I love the shapes, by the way. Oh, it is a seashell. Look how adorable. Oh. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> That's phenomenal. This is so me. It is like a pink frosted animal cookie. Buttermilk pie I'm not familiar with. But I definitely get the vanilla ice cream and waffle cone. And the animal cookies, pink frosted. I can actually picture that as I'm smelling this. De like, not just an animal cookie, but a pink frosted with the sprinkles on top, yeah. Oh, waffle, cone, and vanilla ice cream. Buttermilk pie, I can't tell you. Oh, that's so good. That's like the kind of vanilla that I love. <laughs> wow, you guys. Natalie, I'm in trouble. Because <laughs> I could totally see me buying almost all of these. In some form or another. They're that good. <laughs> I still have so many more. Okay. Zucchini... This is cute too. Zucchini bread, brown sugar. It's like a little Hershey bar. Or um, oh, that's lovely. I do get zucchini bread. So it's definitely just like zucchini bread, like homemade zucchini bread, and the brown sugar. Just smells like part of the zucchini bread. Like when I make zucchini bread, this reminds me of it. And I don't make it very often because it's paint, the zucchini is a pain in the neck. Because you have to shred it, then you have to squeeze all the water out to paint the neck. Um, I really love that. Look how cute. I love that. Almost kind of like zucchini bread with like a cinnamon brown sugar crumble on top, like a coffee cake. It, it kind of gives me coffee cake vibes. That's phenomenal. All right, well, I'm a huge fan. I would buy a big old loaf of that. That's how good that is. Okay, I'm in such big trouble. I'm loving this so much. I, I really am tempted to go look at oh, you guys. I have so many shop pays. <laughs> it's gonna take all my paycheck stuff to pay them off because I have so many. I have to calm down. Um, I still have my Jeffree Star shop pays. Those are like fifteen dollars a month for a year. <laughs> Anyways, um, and I regret nothing because I love all six of those palettes. This is free sure I'm gonna love bubble gum, jelly beans, and serendipity. With a little rose. Oh my gosh. I love this. I don't know what serendipity is. 
I know it's like some ice cream shop in California. I get the bubble gum, almost like a bubble gum jelly bean from Jelly Belly. It literally reminds me of a bubble gum jelly bean from Jelly Belly. I love it so much. Juicy pear of buttered popcorn and um, just a marshmallow and um, bubble gum and tutti frutti. <laughs> like my favorite Jelly Belly jelly beans. Oh my gosh, that's phenomenal, you guys. Phenomenal. Like, I'm obsessed. Okay, now which one? <laughs> There's so many. Okay, today is October 3rd in Dreamweaver. Now, I think it was Virginia that gave me today is October 3rd, and I like it. Um, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but and then Dreamweaver, I have no idea. I know it's a song. Dreamweaver. Oh, that's phenomenal. <laughs> Whatever that's supposed to be. That's good. <laughs> um, has some of the same vanilla lace vibes. Um, kind of like sugar cookie or vanilla frosting. But there's something almost... Like the vanilla lace or something almost perfume or cologne. What is Dreamweaver? I don't know. If you were to take vanilla lace, <laughs> what I smelled in that one, which I never actually smelled it in Victoria's Secret, but it smells like a vanilla perfume. I have a couple. Um, and maybe mix it with a buttercream and a sugar cookie. That's what this smells like to me. <laughs> so, if you like a vanilla perfume with like some sugar cookie and some buttercream, <laughs> that's what this smells like and that's pretty good. Oh, uh, this is, oh. And every time you hear pistachio pudding cake, it reminds me of Martha from Margaret, Martha's Fragrance Corner. Um, and I love it from Sassy Girl. So I'm super excited because I love lemon pound cake. I love almond and I love pistachio pudding cake. <laughs> Watch this be phenomenal. <laughs> That's to die for. <laughs> it's literally to die for. You get the pistachio wedding cake, you get the almond, and you for sure get the lemon pound cake. It's like a Starbucks lemon loaf, some pistachio pudding, <laughs> and some almond extract. That's no joke. That's literally what that smells like, and it's phenomenal together. Oh, I, I could see me with a whole loaf of that one. Even this gate, strawberry gain, or strawberry lemonade and gain, I could see you the whole loaf of that too. That's, that's really good. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Buttermilk sugar cookie royale. I was sent to look, I had a buttermilk though. What is sugar cookie for my owl? I just assumed it was a sugar cookie with icing. This smells like a butter mint. It says buttermilk, but do you think she meant to put butter mint? Do you think she meant to put butter mint? Because it smells like a butter mint candy. Okay. So, when I got married the first time, I made my own party favors. My grandma, my mom, and I. And I made homemade cream cheese um, buttermint candies um, and then put them in little baggies kind of like this and put them all over the tables which had like 30 people. It was not a big wedding. <laughs> it smells just like those homemade buttermint candies. Oh you guys, that's good. It's like cream cheese, sugar, and peppermint extract. 
it's pretty much all that's in that, a lot of sugar, <laughs> cream cheese, and peppermint extract. Oh, that's phenomenal. I would hardcore buy an entire loaf of that. Maybe two. <laughs> that's phenomenal. I'm pretty sure that should say buttermint. That's amazing. 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 If you've had those candies and they melt in your mouth and they're so good, like, you know, that's amazing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, all right. Strawberry white cake sugar cookie royale. Oh, and it's another piggy. <laughs> it's really cute, I love piggy. I'm expecting a scentsy order to be too. It's my scent in love, which I may have to do without you. My scent and warmer at the moment. Oh, her, uh, um, Natalie. <laughs> Natalie, since you love her, Everything with her strawberry, except the, the strawberry pink lemonade and bean. Everything else smells like s strawberry swirl from Sensi. Oh my gosh, you guys. Holy crap. I get more strawberry swirl. I just get Scentsy strawberries for a while. I don't get the other things. My brain can't distinguish, any, distinguish anything other than strawberry swirl from Scentsy. And I love it so much. Oh, I am so happy that she, if I ever lose that bar, <laughs> um, or I want big giant things of this, I know that this is the strawberry that smells just like frozen strawberries to me and I love it. It's authentic and I'm obsessed. <gasps> and the piggy is adorable. <laughs> Jelly beans, peeps, my favorite thing, peeps. My daughter got me and I don't have them in my ear, but little tiny peep earrings, like for your second hole. <laughs> um, Jelly beans, peeps, sugar cake. What is this, another seashell? <laughs> That's fun. It smells like a pink marshmallow peep. I don't necessarily get the other things. Look at the seashell, it's beautiful. I do. Oh, that's so lovely. Makes my mouth water. Makes me want marshmallow peeps. <laughs> see it's too sharp but this is like a not sharp laundry um, and it's like pink berry almost this is soft like almost makes me feel like scoopable soft because I can squeeze this and squish it you guys that's good I buy that and it's scoopable. Well, that's like what I wanted pink cotton from Scentsy to be. It's very fresh, very clean, very soft and sugary pink smell. It smells like, it smells pink. I was like, there's strawberry, not that same strawberry oil, but like some kind of a berry, fresh, clean, Pink, like pink sugar. Oh, that's amazing. There's hardly anything here that's not amazing. Huge fan. Um, this is another one of those soft. I wonder if this is her samples of Scoopable. But this is Season of the Witch. 
like I should know what that is. Is that a movie? No, that's a book. Okay. What is that? Season of the Witch. What is that? <laughs> Toasted Mallow, here's Jenny. Hmm. What is Season of the Witch, you guys? Is it like a next Netflix show, TV show, book? What is that? I feel like I should know. Ooh. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, it smells like fall. I think I get apples. Um, something rich like leaves and maybe some pumpkin pecan waffle kind of. Reminds me of something. There's definitely some apple. Maybe some caramel. Or maybe it's the caramel, like a caramel covered apple that gives me all the other vibes. Like the pecan waffle. I definitely feel like that's a caramel covered apple. Oh, and the toasted marshmallow. I get the marshmallow -y. But that's a caramel covered, and it's not, okay. I'm, I'm not trying to be mean to Scentsy. I'm like, I love Scentsy. <laughs> um, in fact, still, still, the majority of my wax is Scentsy, so don't take this wrong. But their caramel apple craze is way too heavy on the Johnny Appleseed, and I think because Johnny Appleseed kind of bothers me a little bit. <laughs> of course, I probably overdid it by a brick of it. It's too in your face and strong. This is the perfect mix of like a caramel. It's not predominantly apple with a little caramel. This is a good amount of caramel and a good amount of and the apple. It's just right. That's heavenly. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, I'm saving that for Halloween. That's amazing. I love that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's try strawberry sugar. Because I'm pretty sure it's the same strawberry oil that I'm obsessed with now. Look how cute that is. So I definitely get pink sugar. Like I have the body spray, I've had the perfume. I definitely get the Aqualina pink sugar. And more of an artificial strawberry, but somehow it works really well. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's actually really pretty. It's heavy on the Aqualina pink sugar and it works really well. I really love that. <laughs> I think because I'm so obsessed with that perfume anyway, and it's heavy on the Aqualina pink sugar. It's good. It does not smell like a milkshake. It smells like perfume. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Ice cream, I hope you can hear me for the air conditioner. I thought for sure it's on echo, so I thought it would shut off by now, but. Ice cream scoop, oh, ice cream scoop bread. That's a thing, I guess. I know. Coconut extreme, lemon meringue pie, and sugar cookie royale. Ice cream scoop bread and coconut extreme. A well, lemon meringue pie is like, I think my favorite pie in the whole wide world. Closely followed by coconut cream. Um, and then sugar cookie royale. Ice cream scoop bread. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I gotta look it up on Pinterest now. Oh. It does give me some coconut, lemon coconut chiffon cake from Sensi. Not as strong. It does give me those vibes. Well, I'll be doggone. <laughs> well, I lost 
um, and I, which you guys were amazing and gifted me several bars. Um, so I have enough for now, but when I don't have that anymore, that's kind of a dupe for it. <laughs> that's weird. Like it's weird how much like it is. It's just lighter and I'm sure in a year from now, that's gonna be spectacular. Uh, ooh, and it's a fishy shape, my favorite. These are my favorite, but I think closely followed by the piggy and the starfish. I don't know, I really love the starfish. Um, Egyptian cotton, cactus, sea salt, green clover, and aloe. I do love a good fresh scent, and I especially love the laundry. I'd buy a whole, I'd buy a brick. Look at that fishy. Pretty sure I'm wearing wax. That's beautiful. So it gives me some Pima Cotton vibes. And I, you know, with Sensi, if you watch my Sensi videos, Pima Cotton, I love Pima Cotton. Or like windowsill breeze, Pima Cotton vibes. That must be what the Egyptian cotton is. Sea salt. Yeah. It's, it's light, it's not like super salty. Clo green clover, aloe, and cactus. Cactus and sea salt, I think is a whole note. It's very fresh, it's very clean, it's very pima cotton. It doesn't feel like it's strong, it feels like it's nice and light. And the green clover and aloe is just soft, watery. It's a lot like windowsill breeze or pima, and pima cotton. If you were to mix pima cotton and windowsill breeze, that's amazing. Those are like some of my favorite scents from Sensi. That's wow. I need a drink. One second. This has been an hour and 15 minutes. Nice to have more. Okay. I am obsessed with all these bubble gum. Okay. And it's not the the Pepto Bismol bubble gum. It's like bubble gum. So this is bubble gum raspberry vanilla ice cream. Pretty sure I'm gonna love it. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely bubble gum and a raspberry sorbet. Like Sherbert. Maybe some ice cream too, but I, I definitely get bubblegum and raspberry sherbet. That's phenomenal. <laughs> you guys, I'd buy a brick of or a brick of a loaf of this. This is my favorite things about summer. It's like bubblegum ice cream and, and although of the sherbets, raspberry is my least favorite to eat, I do love the smell. And together, those are magical. And it's creamy. I the vanilla ice cream makes it creamy. <coughs> That's phenomenal. I still have one, two, I have a lot. <laughs> Just lemon fluff. Now, because this is a hole missing, I would probably still chop it in half. Because with L3, you don't need a ton. Oh. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I love lemon. Etta. Etta Harrison loves lemon, too. Yeah, Etta. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's one thing me and Edda share is like the lemon. Um, Robin likes lemon like me too. Oh, oh you guys. Okay, so there are these candies. They look, they're, they're gummy. No, they're jelly. <laughs> they're candies and they look like lemon slices. And they're chewy candy, like kind of gummy, but not. 
you know, <laughs> fruit slices. You know what I mean? Well, that's what that smells like, the lemon one. Out of this world. <laughs> Seriously. Some of these are so big. That's like three samples right there. Um, this is way worth $20 to me. I mean, these were worth at least a dollar a piece. Like, she could have easily charged $50, and I'd have felt that was worth it. $20, I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, I'm not passing this up. I need to know. Watermelon, fresh picked strawberries, and sugar cakes. Where do you want to bet this cute little heart shape? <laughs> it's going to be amazing. And if you'd have ever told me I'd have been this excited about all these, like, summery fruity. <laughs> That's good. That's so good. You guys. <laughs> That's good. Okay, the same strawberry that's in uh, the strawberry lemonade game. It's it's more of that candy strawberry with candy watermelon and cake. <laughs> but it's that watery. It's still a little bit watery watermelon. I'd buy a loaf. See now I'm kind of regretting <laughs> passing up from Teddy Bees. I wanted to try it because Alexis liked it so much and I trust her. And it was um, some like snow cones on the beach or something, but I was like, really don't care for fruity. Like, I'd rather spend my money on something fall or Halloween. So I passed it up, and this, all of these fruit ones here with L3, make me regret passing that up, because 100 bucks, I probably would have liked it. Strawberry and watermelon with cake is amazing. I'd buy a loaf, it's that good. Like the watermelon, like the watery watermelon part of Alger and Ivy that I love so much from Scentsy is the watermelon that's in this. And it, it's, it's not quite as sweet as a Jolly, Jolly Rancher watermelon, like watermelon patch, but it's similar. This is a little more watery, like a, like a salty sea air, but it's creamy. I'd buy that. I'd buy a loaf. <laughs> oh, I never thought I'd like this much fruit. Uh, fruit Loops Cherry Bubblegum. Now, I don't love Fruit Loops normally. Like, I love to eat them. I don't love to smell them. I don't get real excited, but <clears throat> with Cherry Bubblegum. Somehow that works really well. <coughs> you get the you get the Fruit Loops, and it works phenomenally with the bubble gum and the cherry. But I mostly get Fruit Loops and bubble gum, and somehow that's magical. <laughs> I never in my wildest dreams thought I would say that. Phenomenal. <laughs> Phenomenal. That works so well together, it's not even funny. I'd buy a loaf. If, if, if you've ever told me I would have said that, <laughs> that's the only cereal scent I've ever truly loved. Like, love enough that I'd buy a loaf of it and I'd melt it. Somehow with the bubble gum, that's so good. <coughs> Excuse me. My mouth is good. You can try. I mean, this is a latte from the coffee shop. I'm sorry. I don't know what's worse, watching me drink or... <laughs> and here, hopefully you can't hear me swallow because I'm the air conditioner. I'm sorry. I don't know. The coughing seems worse to me. Um, vanilla cookies. Oh, I've been wanting to try this combination. Jenny, can I just say you are amazing. You are absolutely amazing and you have blown me away from all of this. I am so impressed. 
you are so generous. I didn't think that I would love all of this the way that I do, and I am in love. Um, vanilla cookies, blackberry jam, butter cookies, and vanilla wafers. I have been wanting to try something with blackberry jam so bad. <laughs> That's phenomenal. <laughs> it's phenomenal. <coughs> oh, that's good. Blackberry jam and cookies <laughs> together, which I love vanilla wafers. And I smell vanilla wafers. Oh, I love vanilla wafers. <laughs> latte and we had when we um, had brunch over there <clears throat> um, we had cinnamon or cinnamon we had chai tea it was so good okay <laughs> this is phenomenal I smell the vanilla wafers the blackberry jam is like soft I'm anxious to see once this cures <clears throat> if the blackberry jam will come out stronger because it's soft in here but I smell it and it's good. It's mostly like vanilla wafers and vanilla cookies. Like, you know, like the, there are little cookies you can buy, <clears throat> I don't know, in the US. <laughs> um, and they have like, like a, like a blackberry jelly on top. I think Notting Hill or someone makes it. Except, Usually, I see them in raspberry jam. Well, this is blackberry. Uh, it's mostly the cookies. I'm all about the vanilla cookies, the vanilla wafers. Specifically, vanilla wafers. And you get, like, a cookie with a soft, like, hint of blackberry jam. That's a point. <coughs> okay. This will be interesting. One of my favorite cereals is Lucky Charms. Love it. So let's see if you can make me love the scent. Because it's mostly marshmallow. -y. Um, okay, this is Animal Cookies, Twinkies, Pretzel, and Lucky Charms. Well, I love all of those things to eat. This is why I'm Melissa. <laughs> Should not eat the sweets. Okay. Um I get the pretzel. It's soft. Um, I think I get the Lucky Charms. Um, I like it because it doesn't really smell. It smells marshmallowy with like a little bit of a cereal, like you know. If, if you know Lucky Charms, you know Lucky Charms. It doesn't smell like much because it's mostly marshmallows. Um, and this um, pretzel, what else? Animal cookies and Twinkies. I'm not sure I get the animal cookies and the Twinkies. Maybe the Twinkies a little. Maybe. I'm anxious to see this cure because it's very soft. But you get like a pretzel and you get like the Lucky Charm cereal. And like <clears throat> maybe Twinkies. I'm not so sure the animal cookies. Like the other one I could smell the pink frosting of the animal cookies. <coughs> I think that's going to be really great. It's just super soft at the moment. Which I think I've heard anything vanilla has to cure like four months. So 
for it to come alive. Um, oh gosh, let's try all this. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Pink frosted animal cookies. Today is October 3rd. Uh, I really love pink animal, pink frosted. Oh, what is today is October 3rd? What is that? And what movie is that from? Um, I don't know the reference. Is it Mean Girls? I don't know. I've never seen the movie. <laughs> Believe it or not. I guess something almost pink sugar. Something perfumey. Like a soft perfume. Kind of like Aquilina pink sugar. Do I get the pink frosted animal cookie? I don't know. Um... <clears throat> the pink frosted animal cookie. It almost kind of smells like pink frosted animal sugar cookie and aquilina pink sugar perfume. Is that what today is October 3rd is? I don't know. <laughs> I like it. I don't think it is. I think it's called pink sugar and bender. What is today's October 3rd? is that? It's good. Um, I wear that as a perfume. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I like it. Um, I can smell the pink frosted animal cookie. And if today is October 3rd is like a pink sugar perfume and vanilla, that's what it smells like to me. Uh, ooh, you guys, these are so exciting. Oh, Jenny, you have no, I don't know if you sent all these to everybody, and I'm sure that you did not go, oh, Melissa, and you sit and pick these out for me. You had no idea. Um, there are some scents in here that I really wanted to try, and that's one of them. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I don't even know where to begin. Okay, let's go with Strawberry Lime White Elephant Exchange. What is White Elephant Exchange? I feel like it's like a powdered sugar donut. <laughs> and Strawberry Lime. Okay, I definitely get the Strawberry Lime and that's, oh, okay. Look, it's a strawberry. <laughs> this is like the cutest thing I've ever seen. Uh, that's phenomenal. <laughs> Um, what I think I smell is the strawberry lime, and it's not, it's like a zing, kind of like rainbow sherbet from Scentsy. That lime has like a slight zing, so it's like strawberry lime with, it's pretty equal, so, but there's a zing to it. Um, have you guys ever, <coughs> one of my favorite movies, and it's animated, <laughs> um, is uh, with Adam Sandler and Selena Gomez. Uh, what is that? He's a he's Dracula. <laughs> he's like my little blood orange. Oh my gosh! But my daughter and I love that movie. What is it? I cannot remember the name of the movie. Hotel Transylvania. Oh my gosh! If you've never seen that movie, it's the cutest movie I've ever seen. The the first one. As, and he talks about his wife was murdered, <laughs> sadly, um, by people that didn't like vampires. Um, <clears throat> and so, <coughs> anyways, um, oh, when he talks about her, he's like, um, we zinged like the real thing. So whenever I say zing, I always think about movie. It's super cute. <laughs> um, Okay, if I were, I have no idea what White Elephant Exchange is. You guys know more than I do. I'm new. But it smells like a powder, a white powdered sugar donut. With like strawberry and lime. Um, I would buy an entire loaf of that. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> I think, I'm beginning to think, I just don't love Sensi's version of fruit. 
but in the vendor world, I'm finding I kind of like fruit. It's actually really good. And I think it's because they mix like the lemon, the lime, and then the bakery powdered sugar donut, if that's even what that is. <coughs> but that's what it smells like to me. I almost swear I smell powdered sugar. Uh, it's really good. And I really kind of love it. Yeah. That's, that's weird. <laughs> um, I don't know who I am anymore. I really don't. Um, I love that. Highly recommend that. Um, okay, let's try iced lemon Danish cuppy cake, whatever that is, and orange sherbet. Uh, my favorite sherbet is orange. <laughs> I love orange sherbet. I will buy just tubs of orange sherbet. Uh, I love that. <laughs> Let's see. Um, so I smell orange sherbet. Um, ice lemon Danish. What is cuppy cake? Almost has a slight freshness, like laundry. But it's almost kind of like an orange popsicle. But yet I can kind of picture the sherbet when I'm thinking about it and smelling it. I can picture actual orange sherbet. Ice lemon Danish. I get a lemon. Oh, it kind of reminds me of like an orange popsicle in a Twinkie. flower. I'm gonna say orange popsicle and Twinkie. I don't know what that, I don't know. <laughs> but that's, I don't dislike it, I like it a lot. So that's, um, yeah, that's that one. And then I have pink chiffon, amber romance, cocoa butter, and cashmere. That sounds fun. <laughs> Gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous. Um, Amber Romance. What is that? Uh, I get like the cocoa butter. I get like a cashmere perfume, which Amber Romance and cashmere smell like an amber vanilla kind of a perfume. It's soft. It's cozy. Um, I can smell something sweet, like pink chiffon would be kind of like pink sugar perfume. <clears throat> um, amber, cocoa, I mean it's literally like you mix an amber and a pink sugar perfume with some cocoa butter and some vanilla perfume. Um, it's very good. <laughs> it's very good. I like that a lot. It's actually very pretty. <coughs> oh gosh, okay. We're getting to the ones that I'm really super excited about. Um, fresh picked strawberries, sea kelp, and honeydew melon. And it's a cute starfish. Look at that. That's so good. Finally. <laughs> it's like almost the entire video. Um, that's beautiful. Um, it, the honeydew kind of smells like, oh, it smells like honeydew. Kind of gives me like a watermelon honeydew vibe. Uh, the fresh picked strawberries are soft. I would say it's more of a artificial strawberry. Uh, the sea kelp. I don't know that I smell sea kelp. Other than it kind of gives it like a salty sea air vibe. Like it's very fresh, clean, a little bit watery, a little bit salty. 
That is very fresh and clean, like honeydew and strong, like artificial strawberry. I really love it. <laughs> I would get a, I would get a whole thing of it. I might start out in a scoopable first. <laughs> um, it's very fresh and clean and. Um, she really knows how to do honeydew. <laughs> That's good. That makes me like honeydew. Um, sometimes, like, Mad for Melon with Scentsy. That's phenomenal. Uh, I'm a huge fan. Oh, look, it has bumps on the starfish. Okay. Uh, what should we go with next? Let's see. Uh, let's try Quilted Heart. No clue. Oh, it says quilted heart, but it's in a star shape. That's weird. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to be. Oh my gosh, what do I smell? Um, how do I describe that? I almost think it's got some kind of a sherbet. Um, guys, these are hard. <laughs> they blend them well enough, I can't always smell. And this one's got like an orange popsicle note to it. I thought for sure the color and the quilted heart, it would be very fall. Um, I can't tell you what else is in it. So I, I don't know, but it's very good. <laughs> it's blended well enough, I'm struggling to describe that, <clears throat> but it's really good. <coughs> so I have five more. Uh, <laughs> it's an interesting shape too. Almost Alice. What is this such shape? Oh, like a dollop of something. Oh, that's nice. Kind of gives me some of that lost cherry vibe. Uh, perfumey. Um, kind of gives me some lost cherry, uh, aquilina pink sugar vibes. That's how I would describe that. Um, it's, it actually works very well. That's that's good. <laughs> um, it's actually making me cold. Um, this one is Bomb Dia Bright. Bomb Dia Bright. Is that how you say that? I mean Dia. Bomb D O M. Bomb. Do you agree? I don't know. I don't know what that means. <sighs> Got some aquilina pink sugar vibes. It's a heart. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's in it. <clears throat> um, I don't even know what it's referencing, but it smells like aquilina pink sugar. I'm sure it's probably got something else in it, but whatever it is, I'm picking up Aquilina Bean Sugar, and I love that. <laughs> um, okay, the three most exciting. I don't know. There's some pretty good ones in there. And I'll probably sit here for the next hour sniffing these. <laughs> sniffing these. So far, I've only disliked one of them. And it's not even that I dislike it, it's just... kind of comes off cat pee. <laughs> but peach ring. Uh, okay, let's go with, okay, Beach Campfire S'mores. Uh, that sounds delightful. <laughs> it is delightful. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, 
Um, I need a whole giant loaf of that. So I don't really get chocolate or graham cracker, but I get some marsh. It's kind of marshmallow -y fireside. -y. But like, kind of like, um, from Sensi. Bonfire Beach. Without the sexy man part. And then black tea, which my favorite tea in the whole world is like long tea with magnolia. It is very black tea. And it has kind of like a floral note, almost like the magnolia. Oh no, I actually think I smell some Earl Grey. I don't love the smell of Earl Grey, but the black tea note, um, I like it. Um, that could grow on me. Um, <coughs> the oolong tea smell, I really love that. The Earl Grey tea. I actually like that though. I don't know. I need to see on that one, but I'm kind of liking that one. You guys, I have one more. This was $20. All of these samples were $20. That's crazy to me. Um, please stay off now. The last one, I'm super excited. Peanut butter and jelly. I've been dying to smell peanut butter and jelly anything. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty. And it's a nice combination of like grape, I would say. It's um it's a real, 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 real soft peanut buttery, and it's almost like a perfumey grape. Um, I love it. Um, kind of like grape popsicle grape. And like a hint of peanut butter, hint. Um, I'll bet you that's really good. <laughs> but it's soft. A lot of, some, some of these are pretty soft. Um... So that is my um, 50 samples for $20, the three samples that Jenny gave me in my five um, scoopables, and I'm in love. I'm so in love. I'm so in love, you guys. So some of these, a lot of them you probably won't see from me right away because I'm probably going to let them sit um, and cure because I think these are going to be phenomenal. Yeah, so I'm in love. I'm so happy, and this was extremely affordable. Plus, I did this on shop pay. Um, I don't even think I spent that much. Uh, the shipping was 15, but um, eight times five plus 20. These were eight a piece. I got five of them in my $20 for my 50 samples. So, what is that? 8, 16, 24, 30. I don't know. I hate math. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to do that in my head. But anyways, that's so weird. It smells like pancakes with maple syrup. <laughs> Charity, is it supposed to smell like maple syrup and pancakes? I'm going to message you and see because I'm very confused on that one. Yeah, so thanks so much, you guys. Um, it's been like two hours, but whatever. I mean, this is so much fun. How do you not take your time with 50 samples? Well, 53, including the ones that she sent me. So I definitely am making a list of ones I want to seek out more of because I've fallen in love with some of these samples. Like, yeah. So thanks, you guys, and we will see.
see you soon with my Scentsy scent of and warmer of the month.